Music and Entertainment. Here where we have the largest variety of music and the people from the entertainment industry that you want to see. Today we got a great group with us. OFM. How you doing today, everybody? Good. I was going to say, fellas, yeah. we got ladies in the back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here with us. So can you please introduce, do, introduce yourself to the viewers and tell them a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, my name is uh, Daniel Crozier. I'm the director and creator of uh, OFM, Odom Fame Mood. Uh, and uh, I help uh, direct with uh, the choreography, you know, the writing, uh, building props, organizing shows, producing, uh, all that fun stuff. My name is Scott Osborne. Um, I'm the uh, composer of the music. I'm also the guitarist and the band leader for uh, War Ensemble. That is the band's for OFM. Yes. <laughs> which, which is the band for OFM. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, my name's Jessica, and I'm kind of just a understudy right now, and learning several of the roles, and just kind of backstand. 
I'm Seth Bertoni. Uh, I'm head choreographer uh, for and uh, work on writing and developing material. I, I come from a, a theater, a bit of a theater set before this with Planetics players and uh, you know, try to uh, bring that performance aspect into the group as much as possible. We're the foremost Neo Kabuki performance group in the world. Because we're the only one. Yeah. <laughs> We're a trendsetter. Yeah. Okay. My name is Troy Bernal. I'm pretty much the new Shogun and a couple other roles. Primarily, I'm a stunt performance artist, glorified stunt guy, really. Throw me through things, I fall off stuff. You know, the usuals. Just don't go for his knee. And I have bad knees. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Bunyan. Um, I play the Yakuza boss and the Ox Demon. And uh, that's it. David Britton, I play percussion with the Warren Ensemble. Um, I'm Seth Hansen, I play the horse demon. Um, got a little bit of background in acting, a little bit of martial arts, um, big fan of movies, and it seems like it'll be a cheesy movie. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and right now, tell me a little bit about this performance you just performed for us. Um, the. Uh, what you just saw was uh, the demon fight. Now, we've got uh, some of our guys dressed up in the demon gear. Uh, essentially, what's happening is uh, it's a power struggle between the old Shogun, uh, Seth Bertoni, and uh, the new Shogun, uh, Troy Bernal. And it's, it's, it's basically uh, Troy Bernal's coming out and usurping uh, the current power. Uh, the, the two demons battling, uh, that represents a larger uh, you know, fight between these two factions, these two armies. Uh, and it's also a, a, a figurative fight in terms of you know, uh, you know, lust and greed, you know, just dueling over each other. Um, so that's essentially what that is. Um, I don't know, Seth, you got any, another take on that? The uh, overall, I think the storyline for OFM is uh, kind of a, just this epic power structural and upheaval. And, uh, the, if, if I could sum it in one phrase, it'd be uh, in with the new boss, same as the old boss. Just uh, corruption is pr prevalent throughout the whole thing. Yeah, it's just this never ending will of tyranny. Um, we kind of take yeah. a lot of influences from uh, you know, B movies and Akira Kurosawa and all, you know, just sort of overblown cinematic stuff for our stage performance. Uh, because with no dialogue, you really have to try to overdo it to convey what you're, you know, much of anything. Yeah. But some people don't get much of the storyline and enjoy the fights anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually the, the case. Yeah, another big uh, influence was uh, Lone Wolf and Cub, which is a popular uh, Japanese uh, manga. Um, and, uh, it, you know, back when I started out, uh, I was fusing Guar and and that uh, ideal together um, to try and create something relatively epic on a shoestring budget. Okay. Yeah, when I um, started out with this about a few years ago, um, decided to uh, take a completely different approach from what I'm used to in standard songwriting and uh, performance and uh, take more of a minimalist approach. Like um, what I was used to beforehand was uh, a lot of stuff by uh, George Clinton P. Funk and um, Carl Denson's Tiny Universe and stuff like that. In this approach, I thought more like, uh, what if uh, minimalist composers like Phil Glass or John Adams were to uh, bring something more into the popular music arena, what would it sound like? And also mixing that with a lot of Eastern influence, because not only have I uh, had influence from uh, Japanese, traditional Japanese folk music, but also with um, Hindu Shtani music, which comes from India. Ah, okay. And that was a great performance for you that you get for the viewers right now. This is something great you can see. OFM, go to the website, which was? O-D-A-M-F-E-I-M-U-D.com. There you go. Keep on the lookout. This is a great group that's going to be performing across the country. We'll see you soon here at Ron's Music and Entertainment.